Well, good evening, you guys. Yes, uh, family members tell us that the victim was simply walking home from work, all excited to go surprise his wife because he had gotten off early. When out of the blue, someone comes up and stabs him. Now, his brother happened to be FaceTiming with him at the time. He says when he looked down, all of a sudden, his brother's face was covered in blood. LAPD detectives are hunting for this man. They say he killed 34 year old Sergio Sante in cold blood for no apparent reason. Sergio's brother Douglas is heartbroken by this great loss. I want people to remember that my brother is a very good person. A lot of people loved him. He was very hard working. Douglas says the deadly attack happened last Friday afternoon as Sergio was nearing his Westlake home after getting off work early from his construction job in Culver City. He was talking to me on FaceTime. He was very happy about his day, telling me about his work. He wanted to surprise his wife that he got off early that day. Douglas says Sergio got off the bus and was walking near Bonnie Bray and 6th Street when all of a sudden the suspect stabbed Sergio. The two were still talking at the time and Douglas called 911. He was just walking down the street and then unprovokely um, the suspect comes up and stabs him. Police say they have video of the suspect stabbing Sergio with a knife and then running to an alley near Wilshire Boulevard where he attempted to stab two more people. Based on what the detectives gave us uh, is that they ran, the two additional victims ran. Police say residents should be on high alert with this suspect still on the loose who was last seen wearing a black fisherman's hat with marijuana leaves, a turquoise t-shirt, light colored shorts and dark shoes. They should be concerned because it's an area that a lot of people live in so they should be aware of their surroundings. Meantime police and Sergio's brother are pleading with the public to help catch Sergio's killer. I want justice for my brother. I want them to find that delinquent that did that to my brother. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help out with Sergio's funeral costs. And so if you'd like to help, there is a link to that GoFundMe page on our website, KTLA.com. For now, reporting live here in downtown LA at police headquarters, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio.